Hey everyone, this is just going to be a tutorial on how to get the square one back into the square. I'm not going to teach you how to solve the whole thing because most of it is just um, learning algorithms and learning where to use them and it shouldn't require much of a tutorial. But getting it into a square can be kind of tricky so I'm going to offer my help to you and show you how I do it. During this tutorial, I'm always going to hold the square one such that um, the axis is in the middle and the little side of the each side of the middle slice, the little section I hold with my left hand like this. Now before we can get this into a square shape, we first have to get it to look like this where all of the edges are bunched up together. And in order to do that, we have to learn how to manipulate each of the shapes that the edges could be in. And there are three basic shapes when you're looking at groups of two. First, we have just a group of two edges. We have two edges separated by one corner piece. And then the last one is two edges separated by two corner pieces. And each of these shapes has a certain use when you're trying to get from this to this. Now the way I'm going to teach you to do it is we are going to, in groups of two, build this on the top layer right here. And the first thing that you need to know is what each of the shapes are for. This group of two has one basic purpose, and that purpose is to either add it to another group of two edges, another group of four edges, or a group of six edges. This shape, the group of two edges separated by two corners, is generally added to either another of the same pair or a group of six edges. If there are no easy matches that you can make to this, what you can do is just bring it to the bottom layer and move it off to the side so that the rest of the edges can be manipulated and then to a pair of six and then add the last two edges. The V shape, when we have two edges separated by one corner, is probably the hardest to manipulate and its only basic purpose is to add it to a group of four such that it becomes a line. Now we have a scrambled square one. And first we want to analyze what's on the top and bottom layer. We have a line and a group of two. But for the group of two, we don't have any place where we can easily turn it because there are no straight lines that we can turn this to uh, separate from these. So we're going to look at it as two V's or one line and then we just have to kind of ignore this. And so what I want to do is I want to bring this down to the bottom out of the way such that because uh, there are no easy places to match it with. So that's on the bottom so this can be freely manipulated. Now we have two pairs of two, and I'm going to match them together. Just bring one to the bottom layer, move the other one over where the other one used to be, next to where the other one used to be, and then bring it back up. And now we have this group of four, and we have this V, or uh, this group of four, and a straight line, and we have a straight line here and a straight line here. So we can add those two together. 
and then we have more two groups of two. And we want to add each of those groups to the group that we're making on top. And then we have the shape that we want. And then from here, we want to hold it so that the round part is facing front. Divide it in half. Divide each of these in half by bringing the round parts to the front again. And then we have the same shape on each, on the top and the bottom. So align them so that they are perpendicular to each other. Slice it again. And then we have the same shape on the bottom and the top again. And align them so that they are facing the same direction. Slice it one more time and then we have the square. And we're not worrying about the middle slice until the end of the solve, which I will not get to. And so I'm going to show you another example. So in this scramble, we have a group of two, a V, a group of two, and a V. So first I'm going to group these two groups of two, this one and this one together. And now I have a group of four and a V, or a group, this group of four and a straight line. And for now, I'm going to stick with the straight line, and I'm going to move it off to the side. So it's out of the way, and I can uh, manipulate the rest of the edges. And this is kind of similar to the last solve. We have another straight line. Add it to this straight line. Now we have two groups of two, and add it to the bigger chunk. And then slice it in half. Slice it in half, slice it in half, and then we have the square. So I'm going to show you one last example. Two groups of two, we're going to join them together. And if you can't turn, if you want to bring this to the top layer, but you can't turn it because there are no straight lines, there is a straight line there, so you can bring it up like this, but then they're not together, so first you'll have to move this over. And then we have the straight line, the V, move the straight line off to the side. Mix another straight line, add the two together, and then add the, each individual group of two to the chunk on the top. And that's it. That should help you get the square one into the square shape every time. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. And thanks for watching.